In our last demonstration, when we have defined the scenarios for the error method in the step definition, we have created a couple of variables to hold the values of the different steps in this step definition. For example, given the first number is this, so first number we have hold it on the number one variable and then number two variable. And then we have used those variables in the actual action method, which is where we are performing the add operation. But what if you do not want to use any such variables unnecessarily because you are allocating the memory to those variables and that doesn't look good. What other option you may have to hold the variable values in your step definition with the spec flow. So today I'm going to show you another way to hold the in memory object with a spec flow. So what you can do here with this step definition is instead of defining these variables, what I can see here is let's say I can create a constructor and within the constructor I can pass the scenario context object which is the context object This is how I'm going to define the context variable. Next, what I'm going to do, this context is again from the base class of the TikTok, TikTok spec flow library. And you can use this context as an add, which provides the add method to add the different variable values as in key key value pair so I can say this as a number as in my key and the value of that key is going to be the value which we are getting it from here similarly I can pass my second number like this and I can obviously I need to define another key otherwise the key it may throw an error similarly I can pass my next key which is the actual here with this value let's see actual and then I can use to get the value or to read the value of that variable what we can do here is I can use the context dot get and at the time of get as it is a generic method you have to provide what will be the data type of that get variable this is how it will look like and finally i can compare the values with this as in actual because that's my actual number That's it. No changes in the implementation. I can simply rerun all my test cases just to verify whether all my test cases are working the way it was working earlier. So my test cases are failing because of the type conversion unable to cause the cast the object of type double to integer because I'm type casting the double object into integer type so I have to convert it to double type similarly I will just update it as in this double type let me rerun again hopefully this time it should run As expected, the test cases are passed and I have not used any data type 
or the variable type here in the my step definition so i've used the syntax context object now if you look at the context object or the variable then it has got number of methods which we can use <coughs> variety of them let's say it has got a add method and then there are some aggregate and there are some extension methods which are available which is hopefully is from the linked operations which we can use it if you would like to get the data out of the context right so using context is is a great feature here with the spec flow which we can utilize while writing the unit test cases i hope you have found this useful for the upcoming for the next videos stay tuned with this channel and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.